Ruth was a convert, and she wasn't young, and she came to a country that was not her own country, and she had no money. For many people, this is not a particularly enviable life situation to find oneself in. Ruth saw this as opportunity, opportunity with a capital O, opportunity to be and not to have. She took on herself supporting her mother-in-law Naomi by gleaning in the field. She was seen by Boaz, who was a, who was a relationship of her late husband, Machlon. There's a law in the Torah that if a man dies with no children, his wife is meant to marry his brother, and in those days, whichever kinsman came next. In order for the, the person, the dead brother's soul, to re-enter this world and to be given another chance, towards rectification. Today we don't practice this. Today in its place there's a ceremony called chalitza in which the parties free each other. Why? Because today it's inconceivable that anybody would marry anybody else for, for purely altruistic reasons. Not out of love, not out of gain, just for the sake of the departed soul of the brother. But in those days they could pull it off. This is all introduction to Ruth Shidduch. One fine day, Ruth comes back from the fields, and Naomi, who knows about the relationship between Boaz and the family, tells Ruth, I want you to go to him. They're having um, a party. It's the end of the season. They're celebrating the harvest. When the party is over and the thanksgiving to God's been completed, go to his room in the middle of the night dress up for Shabbos and tell him, I want you to marry me for the sake of my husband, Machlon. But you won't even have to put it in those words, Naomi told her. Just tell him, I'm Ruth, and he'll know exactly why you're there. Would you do this? Would I do this? I could tell you honestly, there's absolutely no way I would do this. And I could tell you why. The possibility of suffering, rejection, humiliation, I mean, he could have called the authorities. He could have been, in, you know, would have overwhelmed me. It didn't overwhelm Ruth. And the reason it didn't was because her commitment to bring rectification to her late husband was great enough, and because her recognition that if you do what's right, then the path that takes you on will take you to where you never thought you could be was also there. So she did it. And surprisingly, he was responsive towards her. In fact, he would have married her on the spot, except that he said there's a closer relative who has to be consulted. And when he was, Boaz married Ruth. Who was the child? The child was called Ovad, means the one who works, present tense. That was her motto. Ovad's child, Yishai, gave birth to David, King David. King David is considered the epitome of what we see in the Jewish sovereign. He was the heart of the people. He could be in any situation and uplifted. Where did that come from? That came from Ruth, who could be in any situation and uplifted. She was a convert, and that he wasn't who he was in spite of this. He was who he was because of this. David is the ancestor of Mashiach. Mashiach's function is to give us the tools and the will to elevate ourselves and to discover ourselves from wherever we are. And this comes from Ruth.